JSON is a file format and a data interchange format that is used all over the web. Let's see how we can work with JSON in Python. Hi everyone, I am Swaroop. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. I make videos on programming and software. If you like what you see, please subscribe. This is the first video in a mini series on working with JSON in Python. In this video, we will go through the basics of how Python can help us with JSON. So let's continue. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a human readable data storage and interchange format. It has become the most popular format on the web for data exchange, thanks to its simplicity and the popularity of JavaScript. Here is how a sample JSON looks like. It has keys and values. It can accommodate strings, numbers, and lists. Most importantly, if you have noticed, this structure is exactly how a Python dictionary is represented. In fact, you can take this, put it into a variable and use it in Python directly. Python has a built-in library for parsing and working with JSON data. Let's see how we can use that library. Let us start by parsing JSON strings. I have taken the JSON we saw before and put it into a multi-line string here. The main idea of working with JSON data in Python is to convert them into Python objects, typically dictionaries or less. Once we have them as Python object, we can access values or change values quite easily. To convert this JSON into a Python object, we use the function json.loads that comes from the JSON module. Loads is short for load string. We will load the JSON string into a variable JSON data and print it. I will also print the type of the object here and we will run it. As you see, we have a dictionary created here from the JSON string. I will use pretty print so you can see it better. Once we have the data as a dictionary, we can easily extract values from it. We can get the country from the dictionary or the market capitalization or any other value in the dictionary. Next, we'll see how we handle JSON strings that are lists. The JSON string we have here is a list. When we do a load as, we will get a Python list instead of a dictionary like before. This is how we can convert a JSON string into Python object, whether a dictionary or a list. Next, we'll see how we can do the reverse. Say we already have a Python dictionary with us. How can we convert that into a JSON string? You'd want to do this if you are serializing the JSON, whether it's to write to a file or to send it over the wire as part of some API call. We use the json.dumps function for this. Again, dump s is short for dump string. Here, we have a dictionary of superheroes. We've got Avengers and Justice League here. To convert this into a string, we use the dump s function. Let's convert this into a string object. I'm also printing the type here for you to see that it is giving a string back. And we run this. And you can see this gives us the dictionary as a JSON string. If we want the output string to look pretty with indentations, we can pass a keyword argument to this dump s function named indent. Let's set the indent as four and run this again. With that, the JSON looks formatted and nice. We can do the same for Python lists as well. To convert this Justice League list into a string, we will use the dump s just like before. And that is how we can convert Python dictionaries and lists to a JSON string. Next, we'll see how we can read from and write to JSON files. Here, I have our Amazon content in a JSON file. To read this file as a Python object, a dictionary in this case, we would use the json.load function. Note the difference between load s and load. Load s takes a string as an input while load takes a file object. We have the name of our JSON file here. To read the JSON file, we will create a file handler as usual with open. Then we pass it to the json.load function. 
if we print it we will see that we have a dictionary similarly we can write a python object as a json file using json.dump again note the difference between dump s and dump so i want to write this superheroes dictionary into a file called superheroes.json writing to a file is quite similar to reading we first create the file handler object and of course we are writing here so we pass the w string to indicate that we want to open that in a write mode and then pass the handler object to the json.dump function along with the dictionary when we run this it creates the file superheroes.json which we can see from here by default it creates the file with everything on one line like we see here but if the output file is meant for human consumption we can format the output just the way we did with dump s we pass in the indent argument to json.dump and it will output the json to the file well formatted just like this that pretty much covers the basics of how you can work with json files and json strings in python i have written an article about working with json in python which nicely complements this video you can check that out as well we have only covered a bit of what is possible there are a lot more things you can do with the json module for example the dump s and the load s functions take a lot more arguments than we could cover in this video also there are json encoders and decoders which we haven't talked about i will make videos about these next so stay tuned for that all the relevant links are in the description down below thank you for staying on till the end i'll see you in the next one bye bye